All right, it's Marion Dorflinger again, and I'm going to talk to you about something that I don't know many people talk about this, but that is a vine hanging from a tree. And I talked to a guy in the conservation department about 20 years ago, and he said, when you are in a piece of forest that has a lot of these, then you're in what I call, the guy called it a, a rustic forest. In other words, a forest where there's been bulldozing and logging and a lot of people uh, that grows back. As you see this whole section here, no hanging vines. That means that that particular life form was put in a position where it was no longer favorable conditions in uh, in that part of the forest, and you don't see those uh, those hanging vines. Repeat and see. This is what uh, what's so important to know about nature, and I'm talking about the nature of the forest, the nature of uh, your city that you live in, the nature of your home, the nature of your your inner heart. All we're all it's all nature, and every piece of life, including the pieces of life that cause you a little pain and discomfort. They're all welcome here by those who created them. And uh, you can assign any name to all that that you want. I don't care. It all comes down to the creators. Let us make. Let us create. And uh, what I'm trying to say is things are what they are and we can't go back and change history. But we are making history and if we do a good job now if we start now and do a good job those of us who are right-minded and and uh, motivated for the reasons that encourage the betterment and the continuation of some form of life even if it's not our own and certainly not if it's not our own individual life because if you're living for yourself you're about the happiest person i'll ever meet and I don't want to know you. But anyway, if you just care about everything that the creators have chosen to give existence, you are going to fit into your place in that creation. But you pick one individual person, part of nature, and say, that person doesn't belong in my world. Well, your world becomes hell and you make this world hell for the rest of us so that is what i call the vine sermon and um i'm not even going to make the pass in the hat joke on that one if somebody offered me a million dollars to say that again i'd say keep your money you'd do something better because i have spoken